Shut your face! <laughs> hey, it's Friday! All right. <laughs> it is Friday. Oh, Friday! We've opened a lot of games today. Yeah, we've been doing a lot I'm of unboxings. 28 b unboxings I've done so far. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah, okay. I'm up to 11, I think. So, either way, uh, it's Friday, so there's that always going on. Welcome to our show, Back Talk. We pick a topic. We're talking about box sizes today, and this is one where you can be involved, Ooh. actually. So, there's different boxes. This is kind of a super mundane, not important topic, but it's one that we yell about when boxes come in. Well, it's a big problem when you are a hobbyist and purchase or obtain a lot of different storage, boxes. Storage shelving space, man. Yeah, this is, I think it this comes is annoying if you are someone who, again, is very sort of, uh, I was going to say nonchalantly into the gaming, but that's not it. If you just don't own that many games, probably it doesn't matter. You yeah. don't care if this game is slightly bigger than that when you stick them both on the top shelf of that closet and you're good to go. If you own a bunch of games, then something slightly off, doesn't fit on the same exact shelf, it's annoying. And it's something, it's a problem that probably doesn't need to be one. When something is just off, that's the worst. You know? Before we go any farther, should mention Dice Tower Retreat registration is live. You can yeah, find baby. it at DiceTowerRetreat.com. Every box in that collection, by the way, the exact same size. No, but so one of the things that we do in the collection for Dice Tower is the little boxes. Mm -hmm. We do make them the same size. We put them in those photo boxes. Right. And they tell you what they are on the uh, on the one oh, side, yeah. and they're all uniform and gorgeous. Yep, yep, yep. Jesse says, drawn by morbid curiosity, what can possibly be said about boxes? Some are different sizes, always will be. But we'll still talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. They shouldn't be that many different sizes. I really think there should be some standardization in the industry for the purposes, okay, so these game companies are always talking about how they want to support the local game store. Right. This is one way to do so. It's a real pain in the neck for a game store when the boxes are all different sizes. Mm -hmm. How do you display the game? Where do you put it? I'm not saying every game needs to go in the same box. There's definitely games that are in too big of boxes and games that yeah. seriously make the box a little bigger. Well, that's kind of the, ultimately, that's what it's really all about, this idea of why is this box ticket to ride sized but there is a deck of cards and, and six tokens in it. Why? Yep. And I know why. We all know why. It's because shelf more presence. shelf presence equals more sales. I think that's what should not be okay. Well, what I don't, I'm getting annoyed at there the should opposite be some though, standardization. where the box is really small and I open it up and you have to Tetris the stuff in oh. to get to the clothes. Well, I don't like other, that. That's the other extreme, right? But I like that worse because at least with the big box, I can when I'm done, I can put the stuff in and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. It takes up more space. Okay, that's not great. But at least with the, with the small one, I'm sitting there going, okay, turn this sideways. <laughs> yes. This even happens with big boxes, and they just give you too much, too stuff. much stuff. Right, or right. they come out with multiple Kickstarter expansions that do not oh, fit. Yeah. And I don't want to keep 10 boxes. I want to condense it down, but bleh. No, no, no. But I, I think there should honestly be a law that says... You know, your contents you cannot be 20% of the content of your box. You want the federal government to step in? <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. I want there to be some, I mean, like a curfew, some sort of regulation, you declare cannot, martial law. You cannot produce boxes after a certain hour. Go. Oh. All right. <laughs> so we're going to talk about boxes, and you're going to have a chance to give some, some feedback. We're going to put polls in the content. Say what? And, in the comments, bum, bum, bum. and so you can vote on them. So we'll talk about everyone's favorite box first. Okay. Tin box. It's, it's not the, everybody's favorite boxes. I don't <laughs> mind tin boxes. I think they're a neat Spin it. thing. Spin it towards you. Spin it. There's your problem right there. Elf, yeah, elf and and this elf. is not a problem that this is a problem that no cardboard boxes ever have ever. The only problem with cardboard boxes getting this is that now it is practically ruined because stuff can fall out of it. But this one isn't ruined. It's misshapen, yes. Yes, but, but it still holds everything. Only if it doesn't get cracked on the lid. If it gets cracked on the lid, the lid doesn't fit on anymore and pops off. But if this happens in a cardboard box. It most definitely is done. But I can do this to a cardboard box all day long. You start dropping tins. No, drop that tin. Oh, you dropped it nice and flat. No, I don't want it cracked anymore. Stop. What did you do? <laughs> Another problem with a cardboard box. 
<laughs> cardboard box. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you started it. Back to Agra. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> All right. So, I so don't far, have a with box. so I put ten for rating ten box. I put horrible, bad, don't care, good, and great. Wow. Well, those are. That's reasonable, right? Horrible, yeah, horrible, bad. bad don't, don't care is the middle. Good and great. So so far we have one vote for great. Somebody's a troll. Three for good. How are you voting sitting here, Sam? Ten for don't care. Eighteen for bad and eight for horrible. I my vote is for horrible. What about you? Bad. Because you're not as bad as me. I well, think it's okay for a ten to well, be a small. Deck what of was cards. the best possible answer? I don't dislike great. those. You huh? don't even believe great. You can't. You would have to say no. Good. I don't say great. Well, what's the second best? It's good. great, good, it's don't good. care, bad, or horrible. Good. <laughs> See, I think it's... Um, With caveats. I would say bad, but I don't mind when it's a small deck of cards. A, it's there's less surface to get dinged and bashed and all True. that jazz. And I would rather take that than someone like the split a deck in two and put it in a, in a cardboard box. I think this is missing a box. token. It mm -hmm. is. Missing two tokens. It's missing one. Last time I checked. Oh, maybe it's just one. Yeah. Um, but anything this size or bigger, honestly, no. That's crazy. It's asking to get dinged and dented, and for like you said, the lid not to fit. You know, one uh, the uh, forbidden. What is it? Desert is a slightly bigger one. That box sucks. Any little you know hit on the edge, and then you can't quite get it to fit on again. Small, yes. This or bigger. This no. one's not as bad. I also don't like the ones that are embossed on the top because you can't put anything on top of them. Right. They don't stack well, too. Again, I think Unless they sell well from that point of view, that mentality. Oh, they yeah. look cool. It looks cool. It's probably going to move off of the shelf at the, at the retailer. And that's fine. That's all they need to worry about. You know what I mean? But yep. you at home are probably going to be annoyed by it in one capacity or another. Well, um, it looks like we are, the polls finished, 61 votes, so 13 horrible, 27 bad, 18 don't care, 3 good, and 1 great. So it's bad, is the consensus. 44%. I do like when the consensus agrees Malo. with me. All right, next box what size. What do you got? Get that out of here. Oh, I do like that one. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, it's a show and tell, everybody. All right. Ooh. This is what I call My the baby. Ticket to Ride size box. Ticket to Ride is what we all call it, yes. But from now on, I will say the Manila size box. And <laughs> everyone's going to know what I'm talking like about. Like a Manila envelope? Yeah. Manila. The Manila box. And they'll be like like really flat, about <laughs> about 11 inches long? No, 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 no. Manila sized box. This is uh, up there. This is one of the best ones. The problem here being when they use this size box, and there are very few things in it. Right. You really should have scaled down some of the sizes we'll show you later. Yep. And uh, it's the only, I, I just what don't like that. What about the ticket to ride size boxes that are two millimeters bigger than the rest of them? That's just <laughs> annoying. That's just being a jerk. I also don't like this size box when it's really smooth and the lid barely fits on. Because it's hard to get off? Oh, yeah, and it does, mm -hmm. doesn't seem like it fits with the rest. These. This linen finished stuff I love, or this not quite yeah, linen is, finished. It is linen finished. My issue with this size box is just kind of the opposite of what you're saying. It's not when they're, it's not about how smooth it is. It's when the sides are too rigid, as in the cardboard they're using is really thick. Because if you got a stuck on lid, like this was stuck on, let's say, you could pry this and get a little air in it, and mm -hmm. it will come out. Yeah. If the cardboard is so thick, you can't, it won't give that True. much. Yeah. Good luck shaking this thing all day. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, never getting it off. So that's my issue with that size. But really, that happens to every so, size box. Horrible, bad, don't care, good, or great? It's great. Yeah, I think it's great as well. I, I think that if, if as long as the components and the stuff that's inside the box needs this size, this is a great size box. Correct. Right. What do you guys think about the printing on the sides on it a box like this? should be in like all this? four directions. <laughs> Because I know some people do have an issue with, you know, some people like it printed like that, like you're seeing it there, or you can put it on a shelf like this, mm -hmm. and you'll read the title. This is actually how I store my games. A lot of people don't. A lot of people store them on their, you know, uh, book bookcase style, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then they like one side to say it, you know, this way, so that they're reading it correctly. I don't care myself, but I don't. I don't either. Uh, most of the time, I'll store these like this because like that, they fit yeah. better on most shelves like this. 
I know you can't get to the bottom one without moving the ones on top, but it's worth it to I me because of the mess. I can. It's like that, you know, pulling the sheet. Yeah, it is kind of. That's, that's what I do. Um, I'm sorry. Most inserts are not designed to store a game on its side. Nope. Everything's going to go. Oh, oh yeah. Inserts is like a whole different category. Yep. Right, but I'm saying this is this how I like to store games. Well, on this size box, nobody said bad or horrible. It was two don't care, eight good, and 23 great. There you go. I, I might argue, I think that's the best size box. Not, it doesn't obviously fit for every game. Right, sure. But, all right. Then, now this box is interesting, the Carcassonne style box. This one, uh, this one is a box size that 15 years ago was easily one of the most popular sizes. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, a whole lot less games come out this size. Correct. Well, Handsome Glyph doesn't put out as many games. <laughs> Can you bring out the other one, the Manila, back out here again? I'm curious about something here. Because I think, like you, like you said, I do think there should be some standardization with these box sizes. And I think, well, this isn't quite correct. I think it would be perfect if, the, if this size box was exactly half of this. So that means slightly longer and slightly narrower. I know that seems weird. Uh, but you got to think about the board, if there's a board inside. If it was narrower, that's a really weird way to stick a board in. I don't care if it's slight. I don't care if it, it doesn't have to be half. If it's the same length as one, that's fine. Well, again, I'm talking about standardization. I'm I'm just going from that point of view. If this was half of that exactly, and I could stack two side by side, yeah. malissimo. Actually, I, I was thinking I was thinking that this size and this size should be the two standardized sizes because you can these these do well. Bookcase, book style. They do, they do, but it, that my suggestion for a size would as well. I understand what you're saying about a board being too narrow, but um, I don't know. It's kind of like this is metric, but this goes and uses inches. Just make them kind of like fit each other. Mm -hmm. You know, that would that would make me uh, that would please me. <laughs> but this it is, it is a good size. This is I would say probably the second best size out there, right? Uh, no, I won't say that. But it's one of my favorite sizes. I would. I think so. Yeah, I'm curious. So you got something else you like better? Well, I'm saying there's some I like in the same realm. But mm -hmm. but for you remember card games exist. Yeah, I want them in that box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> the odd shaped boxes. Mm. The uh Yeah. Uh we're just including them all together. Hexagonal, pentagonal, round Pyramids. ones. The bullet from Bang. <laughs> That should be that should be its own now, category. The, well, the bullet from Bang makes a, a good like knickknack almost. You can set that on a shelf somewhere, and it looks cool. But something like this, it's just a cylinder. It doesn't even have any really distinguishing characteristics about it. You put it there, it's gonna roll. You yep. stand it up, it's gonna like destroy the rest of that space. Yep. But we just saw a box. We didn't actually open it. Uh, the one that was like. A quadrilateral, the one side was diagonal, the other side's flat. The hexagonal ones, like Pentago, um, there's the hexagonal. One, Pentago, you um, mean uh, Gemblo. Gemblo. Yeah. Gemblo, yeah. There's box center hexagons, there's yes. that skull thing over there. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of them that look to be a normal format on the base, but then the top is uh, a dome-esque. And that's like, I'm at the top of the shelf. <laughs> or else, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> all right, book your game, yeah. you get the top of the shelf yeah. then. This um, is easily, I think I like these less than tins, actually. Oh, yeah. this is the worst, by far. Because fitting these at the shelf, and I would even include, like, Onitama size boxes. Onitama is sort of like this size, but square. It's still kind of annoying. It, it just, won't roll. They're hard to fit on. They're hard to find a spot for them. Yeah. yeah. Stores hate these boxes mm -hmm. because they have to find a specific shelf to put them on. They can't stack them with the rest of the games. You And, and the company making a box, so some, they, they're like banking on that. They, like, they know that, right? Put my thing in a spot of glory. Oh, yeah. Well, we've had 76 people vote on this one. Th two said great. One said good. <laughs> oh, my. Five said don't care. 23 said bad. And 45 said horrible. Horrible, yep. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that's bad. Gotta go. So sad. Uh, did that make what it? game can you think of that would require a box like that? I mean, what what 
game out that can justify a, a box like this. A container. A container, sure, a container like that. Uh, a mat, a roll-up mat is one of the main things. You Big can put roll that up in mat. a square, yeah, though, with an insert. Square. You roll it up and you put it in there. Well, nowadays you can, but if the mat is longer, they don't even fit in the boxes. They, we stick them outside, like the rising sun mat, the size mats. They're too big to put in. Look, I'm not justifying it at all. I'm just Sounds saying. Sounds like you are. <laughs> yeah, but this, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> all righty, I got the next poll ready here. Uh, this is one of my favorite size boxes. This is what I call the two-player Cosmos box, like Lost Cities, because this is what they came in. Although, interestingly enough, Cosmos has moved away from this size box to well, a technically, thinner box. Technically, this size box is not the Cosmos two-player size box. It's really close. It is, but this is thicker than that. Fine, whatever. I'm talking about this or size box. Or the original box. size Cosmos two-player box, mm -hmm. and you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's the same footprint, thinner. That's not a great box. This is an improvement on that. Because now you've got a little bit of height to it. Before, it depends on what the game was. Yeah, and sometimes they really had to be creative with putting it all in there. I just think it's too flat. The lids come off a little more easily. There's less travel room there. This was a big improvement. I think this is a great size box. You're right. Um, and it should be a square of the, uh, like, one quarter yeah. of a Ticket to Ride size box. I'm just thinking Again, I'm that, just going metric, baby. You know, a lot of a lot of these, a lot of the boxes, a lot of the games that would fit in these boxes, though, are, are games that I don't wouldn't really play that often. Mm -hmm. The bigger bigger boxes of, I mean, bigger games are not going to fit in this size box. So I understand what you're saying with this being a, a nice size box, but I think, um, you know, I think I like the Carcassonne box better, or that size of box better, maybe with what these you were saying. These fit so nice on a shelf, though. They stack. I can they're usually sturdy. put them. They're and they're sturdy, sturdy yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get they're that. They're like the mini Ticket to Ride size box. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. No, I get it. Um, someone this said... Is probably my third favorite size. I in retrospect say. to our previous game. thing, someone said that we were, like, talking about how much we like that skull, the Skulk Skull box from yesterday. Um... So how can we say we don't like them? Look, I like that skull. I think it's a neat thing. Mm -hmm. but it's a real pain to store. Which I'd we have won't been, do. I would have been just as happy if that skull had come in a box that I could put on the shelf. Right. Yeah. True. I mean, retail stores, I mean, like, like we were saying, retail stores really dislike those kinds of things because right. you just can't put them with other boxes. But the manufacturers love it. All right, yeah, so for that box, out. one person said horrible. <laughs> Three said bad, 14 said don't care, 33 said good, and 29 said great. Hmm. So definitely leans towards the... So good, more good than great, more but, good it's still than great. A, but it's still a, a, an approved size. All right. I like it a What's lot. What's the name for this size box? This well, is this the Well, this one's new... kind of unique because only Osprey necessarily uses this one. Sure, but there are other companies that... Uh, the, are you talking about the size, like the footprint, or the style of box The here? footprint. I don't care about the style. Because this is... Here's what I mean. That's what this box is. Oh, like. actually, let's talk about that. The opening box. Uh, now, normally, these opening style boxes are smaller with a magnetic clasp. Yep. This is not that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll include them both in there. Do you like sure. the ones with the magnetic, the clasps, magnetic clasp are or not? Awesome. They are good. The only concern with the magnetic one versus this is the magnetic ones, because of the way it folds, Imagine that this flap here and this flap here are, are gone. gone. Yeah. Technically, if there are loose carts near the top, and you shake it, they could fly out the side yeah. between the wall and the lid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're fun. They're fun. They're great. They usually are just kind of a, a joy to open. It, it sort well, of magnetic, makes the magnetic box always the make very me beginning happy. of your gaming experience is going to have a little spark of joy because you're like, Bloop, okay, here we go. You know, <laughs> that's good. That sets you for the for the right mood. Um, this box is fine. These, um, I like the magnetic ones better than this, but this is this works well. Someone said that magnetic clasps are not good if there's too much stuff in the box, like railroad ink. Yeah, I could mm. see that. Yeah. Well, they burst true. open sometimes. Right. I, have you ever picked up one and the clasp came off? Popped off? open, yeah. What about metal clasp, like a locked like a diary? Brooch, a brooch. <laughs> Those are the worst. Yeah, you <laughs> or a snap. <laughs> Snap would be Snap. awful. Nice. <laughs> All right. So people have said on this particular one, <coughs> two said horrible, eight said bad, 
17 don't care, 28 good, 8 great. So who, what's, the, what's the highest vote there then? Highest is good. Yeah, good. I think they're all right. They work well, and especially for a card game. These are large format cards, so this box works well for that. Two decks side by side. Yes. That's really cool. That's a, that's a cool design. Yeah, yeah, it works well. They've used it for a few things, and I, I like it. Well done. Alrighty. Next one. I'm calling this the giant size Ticket to Ride box, even though Ticket to Ride has never been in a box this size. But the Ticket to Ride size box, and they wanted to make them bigger, so they went up. Ugh. Where did this come from? <laughs> I see... I uh, see some Healy on there. Um, <laughs> there actually probably is. That's, no. That's what dust is. Okay, so what do you think of these size boxes? Because there's a lot. I mean, this was, no, this used, to, the first time I saw one of these, I want to say it was the original Battle Lore. You pooped yourself. From <laughs> Ticket to, from uh, Days of Wonder. Mm -hmm. But now I'm seeing a lot more of these. These high boxes yes. to the point where Thunderstone Quest is almost a cube. No, it's like this. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's unreal. I really like these. I mean, when you need the extra, what do you guys think? I mean, when you need Fantasy the extra, Fantasy Flight moved from their foot, coffin size boxes to these. Yes, right. But well, when you need the extra footprint right, or like an extra, you know, storage, do you guys like the idea of this idea of going up instead of going out? You like that for better? purposes of the yes. Calyx Gaming Show? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Exactly. And you like them keeping their square foot? I do, again, for the same reason. I mean, the uh, uh, Star Wars Rebellion is in this size box. Forbidden Start. The Scent moved to this size right, box. Right, Fantasy right. Flight does it a lot, but they are not the only ones. Again, like we just mentioned, Thunderstone Quest. There's a lot of companies that are putting their bigger games. They're just going up. Now, there are some companies that make their square a little bit bigger. Right. We're talking uh, too many bones and... That, uh, that irritates me, but again, it's very personal because it doesn't fit on the shelf. Here's a bit land, air, and sea. Just a little too big to fit on the, the Calyx shelf, so I put it on top. Ugh. But that bugs me a bit. My only concern with this size box or anything taller than this is you're going to have components, a top components, a top components. I could see damage becoming part of the equation unless uh, you have a real good insert. This is one where insert. a good insert can matter. Yeah. But someone pointed out Yeah, this these, has a great insert. <laughs> Someone pointed out with this particular box size, unlike those coffin boxes, you have you can store this on its side. That's true. The coffin they won't box flop open. That's true. Can you imagine if you flip one of those no. on its side? Yeah. No. No. Right. Yeah. I just realized there's one size box I didn't bring, that because uh, we don't have any here at the studio. I don't think is the old um, Euro game size box. It was uh, Ursu. Oh, like. Uh, it was like this size. Tons of games came in it. El Grande, all those games sure, came like in it. It was long and size. really thin. It was yeah, rectangular and really thin. Almost a Hasbro game size. Yeah. Sure. I didn't hate that size. Not the really skinny one, right? No, not, oh, like, not Avica Spiel skinny. Ooh. I don't have a copy of that one there, but let's vote on that one now. I have a Canyon box somewhere over there. The, the card what? game Canyon. Did you ever play that one? No. Oh. It's the same thing. It's like the footprint is about, you know, that big. But it's about that thick. <laughs> and so anything that was in there, it's like the size of, um, no, no, that's even bigger. But it means it's just like, it's a plateau. You ever, anything that fits in there, you got to split. If it has a deck of cards, you probably have to bag it into two sections. Stuff like that. It's just annoying. Well, anyway, they were for, too skinny. For this one, it was mostly good. No, it's delectable. Although there was some people who did not like this one. It's too big. I think so. Yeah. All right. Plus there's plastic in there, probably. It's disgusting. There is. Next one, I don't have the picture of it here, but everyone knows which this one is. I don't have a copy of it. And that's pandemic-sized box. Mm. I don't actually like that size box very much. Ah! And actually, I was going to say, I hate the pandemic box because there's no room for growth. Yeah. None. They streamlined the snot out of that game. No, no, no. I wouldn't no. say horrible. I would just say bad. It's too flat. It's... It's like the Carcassonne box that you threw really hard on the ground and it splayed a little too much and it's too flat. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is. Stick with Ticket to Ride or Carcassonne. There should be nothing in between those two. <laughs> well, I mean, the problem is, is I, I'm always curious, like, why does the industry not standardize their boxes to some know. degree? 
Like, there's not like six boxes that everyone's the same. And why do you want to be slightly different than everybody else? Stand out on the yeah. shelf? I mean, Stands again, out. but I don't think a box that's slightly different stands out on the shelf. Right. I really would be much happier if they just went up to take it to ride or rearrange it slightly for Carcassonne. Because it's about the same storage. I know your board would have to be recajiggered. If you went to take it to uh, Carcassonne. That's a good word. But that there should just really not be anything between those two sizes. If it doesn't fit in the Carcassonne box, go to Ticket to Ride. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know. Only, only Manila, Manila size, I'm sorry. Only, <laughs> only problem with that is that, you know, you, you, you've you got to have a third box size for, for card games. Oh, smaller? I'm, no, no. Yeah. I mean, there's tons smaller I'm okay with. Right, right, right. I mean, between those two. Really doesn't make sense to me. And Pandemic is kind of between the two. Pandemic could fit easily in a Ticket to know. Ride size box, I think. Well, very easily. I'm talking about the other way. I think it also could fit in a Carcassonne box as long as you recut the board or whatever to fit that footprint. Sure, sure. The board's yeah. not that big anyway. No, I guess right. I guess what I'm thinking is is that if we standardize to a Ticket to Ride, doesn't that really start to constrict the kinds of games that you can make? I guess that would make sense, because but what I would like to know a, a game that that's in a box that's somewhere between Ticket to Ride size and Carcassonne that deserves the box it's in. Does that make sense? That couldn't have fit in one of those other two boxes. Hmm. Like, what's a game that would be hurt if it was in a different size box? Of those size games. Obviously, if it's a huge game, it has to go in a huge box. Right. And obviously, if it's a small card game, it has to go in a small box. Okay. I can't think of anything. Well, I, I, all my point was trying to make is that if, if if we are going to talk about standardizing boxes, we have to have a large size box that is bigger than your Ticket to Ride games. No, oh, absolutely right. And then you have Ticket to Ride size, and then you have well, that's a why third I like one down. I like those deep boxes way better than the Too Many Bones and uh, Heroes Air and Land and Sea, where they're bigger. I'd rather the boxes. And I understand sometimes they're trying to make the board just a little big, and so they have to stretch the box out. I just think there's ways around that. I think the box for hate should be standardized. I think that should be one of the sizes available. Mechs versus Minions? It's bigger All than right, that. Pandemic it's actually size. considerably bigger than that. Yeah, 12 yeah. people said great. 29 said good. 12 don't care. 17 said bad. And 5 said horrible. It's kind of more of a... Yeah, well, that's a split. Bad and good there. Yeah, there's a lot of that in the middle. All right, let's talk to War Gamers briefly. Ooh. The GMT bookshelf size game. Which is kind of pandemic sized. They're mm. sometimes thicker than that, though. That's about it. This is, I think, the same footprint as Ticket to Ride. I've held a lot of Ticket to Ride in my life. Let me see. I, I mean, not same. Ticket to Ride pandemic. I'm Ooh, sorry. we got pandemic. Let's see. So if I was here and I went, hey, you want to play that? Yeah, yeah, that's where my hand would go. That's exactly it, but it is thicker. Yeah, it feels erroneous. If that's one of the weirdest things we've done all week, and this has been a weird week of live stuff. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> hey, you want to try a cooperative game? Which one? This one here. No, get out of here, Tom. <laughs> you're creeping me out the way you're holding that box. All right. <laughs> Actually, I really like the GMT bookshelf size. No, I do too. Good. These are good. These are good, they, and they fit on the shelf well. Uh, I mean, GMT specifically, I mean, they make their games, their boxes, to where they can be stored together. And right. look really good, um, and you know this is like their their this is their standard box size, and so I, I like it when companies do that. Um, but that's the issue also. We're talking about oh everybody should come up with a standard size, yeah. Except companies have their own standard sizes. Like Alea boxes are all the same size to them, you right? Know? But then you like have GMT here, and their boxes are all the same size to each other. Actually, isn't this about half of a... No, it's too big. <laughs> All right, so so yeah. far, the GMT okay. bookshelf size, we have 17 great, 22 good, 16 don't care, 9 bad, and 0 horrible. I agree. It's not a horrible design by any means. It's slightly larger. Slightly longer, yeah, yeah. But the um, one thing I like about GMT is they put all their games in that box. The only thing they do sometimes is increase the width. Mm -hmm. Which I'm okay with. Right. Yeah. Maybe that should be it then. Maybe the way to standardize gaming is to have a few footprint 
you know, square, half the square or whatever, and then a quarter of that square, and you get to change the height based on whatever game you're putting out. Maybe that's how you do it. Again, no, until we get some sort of standards I'm in the I'm telling industry. you, I'm passing out something to sign. As soon as this video's done, I want you to go to Z. <laughs> Stop. People are going to actually go there. All Ooh, right, the that. next one is... I'm going to come up with some website which will actually exist. That's the problem. This box, Cosmos has standardized it, but there's more and more of these coming out. Companies making these small card boxes mm -hmm. where many times you open the game and it's a deck of cards in here. But this is the box Correct. that it comes you in. You like that. Well, I'm asking people what they think. But you love it. I do. I like actually. it a lot, too. I like it a lot, and I know... That's a good size for a card game. I know that it... I know that it's not as... Uh, economical as the small games. We're going to get the tuck boxes in a bit. We'll talk about those. I'm curious what people think about that. But the uh, this is taking the place of tuck boxes for a lot of people. Now, this one, Ubongo, is too big to fit in a tuck box. But there's a lot of games that are simply a deck of cards in these boxes. There's almost half of this. Will you stop with this ratio stuff? Why? You, I thought you liked math. I do. Then be quiet. But, but, but it's not half. It's When it's half on both sides, it's actually a quarter. A what? A quarter. It's only a quarter when it's half on both sides. This, Tom, if this was half of this, yes. it would be half. Only if it's the exact same length and the exact same height. Yeah, yeah I know. I realize that. That's what I was so suggesting. So that's more like a quarter. I know. He's only I'm talking about 2D. He's not talking about 3D. Yeah, I, I realize the height would be the same for it to actually be half the space. I know how. I mean, you like, mentioned that earlier when you were talking about works. the Carcassonne one. You'd want it to be half the length of the side. He was talking about and half. That would actually be a quarter. He then. was only talking about footprint, though. He wasn't talking about depth. Right. I even suggest that depth should be the one thing that is changeable. No, no, that I agree on. What the? I'm building a wall. Wow. Can I be behind it? No, I'm Please. making you pay for it. Though. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's see here. <laughs> oh man, not Manila size boxes. <clears throat> the next one we're going to be asking you about is tuck boxes. The little small card tuck boxes. Like to split the deck in two and tuck it in there. That. Well, that's even. It that's can fun. be splitting or I not splitting. Hate that. That's, it's like, I it's hate like, there's that. There's ten boxes. Then there's the seventh layer, <laughs> seventh level of hell, and then those like we split the <laughs> okay. deck into and put it. Well, in. anyway, to the small card box we just looked at. Twenty-one said great. Twenty-six said good. Seven don't care. Five said bad. Four said horrible. Really? But I, I would assume the people who say horrible is basically on the, essentially the. The size purposes. People, um, I don't like how much size it, space it wastes. Those small ones. It doesn't waste that much space. If it's a deck though. of cards, it can be. Have you ever opened one of those? There's an <clears throat> implastic insert and a single deck of cards. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like that. I guess, but it's a good uniform shaped box. If though. we were, if, if I don't like that either, but I only don't like it because it's not standard. <clears throat> You know what I mean? I would take. I would be like, okay, cool. If this is a, as small as it gets, mm -hmm. and then if you have one single deck, yeah. two decks, mm -hmm. or bits, right? And then I'm good. If this is the bottom. All right. So now we're talking about tuck boxes. How many times can we vote on horrible? <laughs> <laughs> That's the main question. Yeah, that that one where you have to split the deck though, and if you don't split it perfectly, it doesn't fit. And then you do split it perfectly. You put it in, and then you're like, oh, the rule book has to go in there, too. Well, and then it catches, especially the ones that open on both sides. And because I, it'll catch on the other side's tab and push that side open. Well, what I used to do, as soon as I got one of those tuck boxes, I would glue. Burn it. Oh. I would glue the back tabs in place. Mm -hmm. So that when you both push sides. against it. No. <laughs> yeah. It's a one-time use box. <laughs> Done. That's it. Many of those are one-time use, like the ones that have the hang tab and stuff. They're just not good. You're supposed to tear off the tab. That's garbage, you know. Um, Sam's giving up, I think. Tom? I'm not giving up. I'm still here. Tom's scared. <laughs> He's building a, a fort. A game fort. All right, so now we're going to talk about expansion boxes. 
So what are the different things as I make this pull up? So I put some expansions come in a throwaway package or a bag, and you know, they're meant for you to put the stuff in the base game. Okay. If there's enough room in the base game, super duper. Yeah, I agree. Okay, right. Okay, we'll, we'll assume that there is, obviously. Um, or keep it in the expansion box, so a box that comes with the stuff to keep it in there. Um, uh, a expansion box holds the base and game. Thing and the expansion. Uh, there's a don't care option or uh, what else? Throw just um, so keep it on its own. Throw it away. Everything goes in the new box, right? Right. Or what else is there? Oh, well, throw away the box. Put it in the game. So the throw away Smash in the bag. The Smash it with a big hammer right past judgment on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see how that, that, that comes across here. Okay. Huh. So Tuck Boxes came out to be 25 horrible, 22 bad, 6 don't care, 4 good, and 4 liars said great. <laughs> so what do you think about the expansion boxes? What do you prefer normally? I really like, my personal favorite is when they're big enough to hold the base game. Because then it's like, a new box! Yay! You like that? I do. Um, if, if it matters. If, it, if it, there already was room in a base game, I don't care. I also don't mind when they come in like a bag meant to go in the base game. I'm like, yay, we're not wasting a box. Yeah, I don't care. Normally. I do not like storing expansions in separate boxes, with some exceptions. But usually I want to throw normally, them in the base game. Yeah, but normally, if you have to, it's a size issue. It's almost always a size issue. I would much rather... I mean, this is what I usually do. If I get an expansion and it fits in the original box, it goes in the original box. There's a few reasons for that. Visually, I already know what that box looks like. I see it on the shelf, I know what it is. I also don't like when it all goes in the new box because it's probably gonna say expansion somewhere on it. Okay, this does happen to me. I like, I have you know, ghost stories in the white moon box. Right. And I'm like, oh, ghost stories white moon. Oh, that's the game, that's right. <laughs> so I like that visual cue myself. So if it can all fit in the original, it goes in there in the box. Well, unless I have to keep it in there, it goes. All right, so with expansions, 13 people voted for the throwaway, the bag meant to be thrown away nine people say keep it in the expansion box i actually thought that would be larger because i've been to many people's houses where they keep the stuff in expansions well there's also a lot of people i would have suggested it if before you hit this that do put the stuff in the original game and then keep the empty box i didn't have an insane option on here why would you do that some people like to not throw away the boxes they like to keep the boxes keep empty boxes yes why would you do that some people like to keep the boxes. You're not answering the question. You just keep saying people do it. I'm like, why? They do it. But why? Because they do it. Because they like to retain the entire thing they bought, I suppose. I don't know why. I don't do Do you it. keep the plastic wrap neatly in a drawer that you took off, too? Yes, know, have maybe. some. Are these the same people when they get Christmas presents? They're like opening them carefully, oh, saving that. the paper. I do that. You do? I don't save it. I just I feel <laughs> bad about ripping, ripping the paper. You're getting everything in a bag from now on. I don't save the paper. I, I already do that anyway because bags are so much easier. <laughs> I just like feel bad that someone took I, someone took a lot of time to like fold and wrap and tape, and then you give it to me and I go, it feels disrespectful. All right, here's okay. Here's it some answers. A, what the people I know, said. It's my own thing. Um, <clears throat> they said I paid for the box, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> this person says I have a stack of empty boxes. I haven't Why? got the courage to throw away. Am I crazy or is somebody else maybe wearing some sort of? Spider-Man paraphernalia crazy. All right, they said I use the boxes as wall art. Now that's, that's not, good. That, that's okay. a good idea. To that's put other games in the old box. That's, that's good. That's confusing. Um, it I has nice Tootsie art. Rolls. Empty boxes is good for trades in case you ever trade away the expansion. That's also true. Why didn't you say any of these reasons? You just kept repeating yourself. I didn't think of it. <laughs> jerk. <laughs> oh, I'm the jerk. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm gonna beat you Art display side. resale <laughs> boxes <laughs> are pretty and can be useful. Why a Manila size box, cousin? Why not a Forbidden Star size box? Because it'll hurt more, you do it. <laughs> okay, the selling the thing later is interesting. You do. You know what a lot of people also do when they intend to sell things later? They keep all the components. Ooh. He That's just, actually true. He just hit on a nerve. That's like a specific thing. What game are you thinking of? I'm thinking of not, not so much a game 
instead of a person. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not pointing any elbows or anything. <laughs> My word. No, but this has happened to me. Like, Thunderstone Quest. I got it, so I don't need Thunderstone Advance anymore. Thunderstone Advance, I threw away half the cards because I just played Epic. I mean, you intend to keep it forever and ever. I do, and that is that is how I... If I'm keeping a game in my collection, I don't ever intend to resell it. It happens, I guess. Sure, sure, sure. But I, don't, I, I plan to keep them. So that's why I throw away in expansions, because what do I care? Yeah, I get it. So, alrighty. And you thought we couldn't talk about boxes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time for quick... What do we call it? Rapid fire. Rapid fire. This or that. Are you ready? <laughs> Throw them at us. <laughs> and we'll answer. I'm scared. Tins or chuck boxes? Tins. Ooh, tins. Yeah, tins. Definitely. <laughs> yep. Tins. Could you oh. imagine a world, a Twilight. backwards world, Twilight where every game came in a tin, and every loop. now and then, a game would come in a cardboard box, and everybody would be like, ew. There we go. Twilight Twilight. It's made from the same stuff as the components within it. That's disgusting, right? Think about that messed up world. What messed up Why? world? Why? Oh, you missed the beginning of what I said? These guys are the worst. You caught it. What did you think of that? It was pretty interesting, right? It's like a weird, like, Twilight zone -y kind of vibe. I don't want to live in it. You don't want to live in it? I know, it's crazy. <laughs> telling you, man. The mind. Sam, they want to know if you're going to bust through that wall of games like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> no. That's a fat joke, and I take offense. <laughs> Thunder or lightning? How about thunder and lightning? Right. Uh, thunder or lightning? Uh, I guess I'll go with the sound. They're both terrifying. I'll go with the sound. Thunder. Terrifying. Thunder is awesome, dude. Yeah. Oh, uh, when I'm have you been when close I'm driving to thunder? Dude, I've been driving down the road and like a lightning bolt strikes like 20 yards away. Really? Yeah. Tell me some more manly things you've done. All right. Tikal no. or El Grande? El Grande. Tikal, for sure. There's Tikal no question. or El Grande? Um, One of those is very, very good. El Grande. Um, cardistry or sleight of hand magic? Cardistry. Oh, cardistry or sleight of hand. I like, well, they were, usually um, are they tied together? Like most card magic is sleight of hand. Cardistry is not magic. What is it? It's like flourishes. Cardistry is... Um, oh, okay, okay. Then sleight of hand, for sure. Yeah. Kill Bill or Pulp Fiction? Neither. Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Volume 1. Both waste of film. <laughs> tie Z or no Tie Z? No Tie Z. Definitely no Tie Z. I like Tie Z a lot, actually. It was a little awkward oh, yesterday. It's a joke. It's, it's, it's supposed to be punny. Open fronts funny. versus tuck boxes. Yeah, to me. Open fronts? That's where the, the box lid comes off, those or, small little ones, or tuck boxes. Obviously, we're going to all say open tuck? fronts. No, what's a tuck? It's like... Like load it from the side or load it from the top? Yeah. All right. Yeah, from the top. Big huge box or separate boxes? Big, Big huge, box. huge box. Yeah, I think so. Everything in one. Tuck box inside. This I'm assuming this is inside a box. Tuck boxes or drawstring bags? I'm a huge fan <sighs> of drawstring bags. No, no, they mean like the tuck box or the drawstring bag, like law, like uh, love letter. That's Ooh, what they mean. Ooh, that's not as in. I don't tuck like the box. bags on my shelves. Tuck box. The drawstring yeah. bag thing is, no, yeah. it's cute. The I don't, first I don't even like them inside to hold components for for because uh, they don't they don't stack well inside. Well, they're the box. velvety and stuff, right? Yeah. They don't make you feel like oh, I've been well, near lightning. I don't lightning. mind that. I don't mind that. It's just that they are, they're bulkier mm -hmm. than than just a regular size bag. Dead of Winter box versus Gloomhaven box. Dead of Winter. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think Look, so. I love Gloomhaven, but the box is a bear. Um, oh, what about a box shaped like a bear? Box or Plano? Mm, box. Box. Yeah, I like the Plano stuff. Plano but is just I mean, a backup, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You normally put one of those inside a box, sometimes. That would be cool. I've done that <laughs> for a few components in some games. Raiders of the North Sea or Architects of the Western Kingdom? Architects, right? Raiders. Now. Really? You like Raiders better than Architects? I thought it was the other Architects way around. Architects is the new one. Yeah, yeah, Architects, architects I like better no, than I really like, well, I, I like the expansions for Raiders a lot. Oh, okay. I haven't played those yet. Um, oh, yeah, the Spiky Dastards box is one of the worst boxes ever made. Oh, man. The cone. <laughs> yes, the Cone of Shame. <laughs> Avengers Infinity worst. War or Thor Ragnarok? Infinity War. Infinity War, although Thor Ragnarok is <coughs> easily my second favorite movie. I really like that one, too. Mm. Better than Civil mm. War? 
Yeah. Thor Ragnarok. I really Whatever, you love Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> you watched it too. I did too, and I better than Civil War. <laughs> really? Civil War is like the bonus Avengers movie, yes. It's awesome. It was good, but Thor Ragnarok... See, Avengers Civil War had some slow moments in it, comparatively. Thor Ragnarok never stopped. It was just like, we're on! From the very beginning. Yeah, that's true. Know. I agree. Um, I might even like it better than Infinity. Meat or potatoes? <laughs> meat. Potatoes. And potatoes. <clears throat> Both, together. Both are awful. So you or can't you. even... Or should not be used between those two words. Oh, I'll, ever. I'll take the old. Cardboard box fort or couch cushion fort? Couch cushion fort. Yeah. They have, they have, they have less, <laughs> less angular corners. Oh, Daniel said Kool-Aid. I'll put a sign out front that says, no nerds allowed. <laughs> Kool-Aid man no ain't fat, it. says Daniel. It's all water weight. <laughs> Snow ski or water ski? I've done neither, actually. Uh, I don't think I've done either one of those things I think either. I enjoy snow skiing better. And I've only been snow skiing once, and it was in the Bavarian Alps. So I won't be going again. Watchmen or V for Vendetta? Watchmen. Again. V for Vendetta. Waste, I really like that movie. Waste it's very film depressing. On both counts. Oh, you didn't like V? Nah. V for Vassal is what the movie was called. No, um, Arby's or McDonald's? I went straight to video. Arby's. But you could say any fast food restaurant or McDonald's, and I would pick. What did you say? Arby's or McDonald's. Arby's by, by far. I would pick any fast food over McDonald's, I think. Yeah. Even uh, Long John Silver's. Depends on what you're going there Ooh, for. Ooh, that's good. That's I good. had Long John Silver's a couple days ago. You still Have you worked out the grease yet? Uh, it's still coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary information! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We'll we'll see y'all next time. We'll, oh, and uh, actually, we'll see you in an hour see you in about and an hour, yes. ten yeah. minutes. Okay, uh, for our right. Dice Tower Dive, where we talk about roll and move games. So, also, if you want to come to Dice Tower Retreat, you want to play games, just straight four days, super fantastic time. DiceTowerRetreat.com. Uh, half tickets are, I think, are gone at this point, so you don't want to fool around. Until next time, though, I'm Tom Basso. I'm Z Garcia. Thanks, everybody. Oh. And I'm Sam Healy. See you on the flip side.